But uh, that's going to be... Oops, I did not mean to use critters there. Guys, we're, we're doing everything wrong here. We're doing everything wrong here. The one time I try to do, like, a bit of a, like, strategy video, I guess, it just, like, completely blows up in my face. Chicken here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be taking on Gearheart War, War, War Factory. That was a mouthful. But first, I had a question uh, in the comments yesterday about someone asking um, if we could, uh, if I could explain what I meant uh, when I said delay on defenses. So, uh, the delay on offense, simply put, is um, if if something, if any defense sees you, then it targets you. Then it's uh, it's it's going to shoot the 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 next thing it targets instantly, as opposed to waiting. There's if if no defense sees you and then targets you then it, there's like a, a two or three second delay before it actually fires. So it's going to be easier to show you here. So it, it's just easy to do with Zookas and Rocket Launchers. So you see I get the Zookas out here. Nothing has seen me yet. Um, I flare into the into a range where the Rocket Launcher can actually fire on the Zookas. We flare onto the Rocket Launcher and nothing has seen my troops yet. So that's uh, like this is this is all the delay is when nothing sees you. Um, and this is this is what's called a flash kill when you don't need to shock anything and you can just hit the rocket launcher um, Use the delay to your advantage and take it out before it uh, before it sees you So when you don't use the delay it looks something like this like say so uh, to make the point here I threw out critters on the right side. So obviously the rock launcher is going to target the critters. It's going to shoot them down um, So it's targeted something already so then, uh, when you put your troops out, it's just going to instantly, the, you're, you're going to see the rocket instantly switch to you. So every defense has um, some form of delay with stuff like machine guns, flamethrowers. It's not, it's so minuscule that I don't think it even really makes, uh, like I don't even think you can even notice it. Um, so you see right here, since we lost the delay, um, it, the rocket launcher is going to fire on the Zookas instantly. And that's the difference. So you see right there now, since this rocket has no ice and it's like lower level, like usually you're not going to get away with that. Your Zookas are just going to get roasted. But uh, I thought I would kind of just go over that. Do a little hashtag chicken strategy talk to uh, to get the video going, guys. So now we have Gearheart War Factory. And um, I realize uh, some of the more hardcore Boom Beach players, obviously they already know like what delay is and stuff. So if, if there's something I missed there or something that's worth pointing out, definitely let me know that down in the comments, guys. Uh, always appreciate that. Always more to learn about the game. So let's take a look at Gearheart War Factory. Apparently it's National Hot Pot Day. So bring your hot pot, bring your hot pockets to work. And uh, there's a lot of hot pots. That was the that was kind of where the joke was going, I guess. All right, chicken. So let's get it together. This looks very easy. This looks very easy. I think we can solo this with what? Two shocks? Like we have to okay, three shocks. We gotta shock the hot pock the hot pockets. We gotta shock the machine guns and the mortars. And I don't think there's actually any rocket launchers in range. So let's get this going here. Nice and quick like. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is take out these boom mines in this mine. Um, and that should be easily done with one barrage. Now, what I've done here before is sometimes I'll take uh, Everspark with me and I'll hack that machine gun on the corner. And then I would get anything that's behind the HQ to target it. But since there's nothing in range behind the HQ that we need to worry about, we don't need to do that. And here's a little... I guess we'll show you this. Here's a little kind of glitch or trick, whatever you want to call it, um, that you can do with Hot Pots. And this works for all your troops, not just Zookas. So we're going to walk them up here just exactly how we normally would. And I'm going to throw another smoke down here, and then we're actually going to flare to this hot pot. And watch this, guys. Watch this. This is crazy. So, uh, normally, if you targeted a, a defense like this with Zookas or with any other, other troop, they would spread all around it like they were going to shoot it. But you see with hot pots, they all stay directly on top of it. Now, you can use this to your advantage a little bit, because look at how tightly it's going to keep my Zookas grouped up. And, okay, so we'll go two smokes like that across the HQ, and... We need to suck them up a little bit. All right, so so there's the delay that we lost, guys. Oh my God, we just got wrecked. Whew, okay, so National Hot Pocket Day, guys. National Hot Pocket Day. So this is where my shocks would have went. They're all going to be late because they don't matter now. But uh, oh, that was fun. That was an interesting um, interesting take on it. So if you come out of the smoke in front of Hot Pots, guys, uh, they are going to roast you pretty badly. So don't do it like that. Um... But we, we showed you what happens when you lose the delay with hot pots. It's very uh, it's very disgusting. So 
We'll spend a ton of gems here. Well, not a ton, but a good amount. And we'll try that again. So it's probably not going to be the best walk to do that hot pot thing. It kind of puts you at a, at a bit of an awkward kind of angle. But I just wanted to show you guys that so you knew that it was there. So typically the walk that I'm, I'm, I would use on uh, on this side would just be going straight up here. That's going to be a lot easier to control most of the Zugas. We might get one or two peeking out, but uh, that's going to... Oops, I did not mean to use critters there. Guys, we're, we're doing everything wrong here. We're doing everything wrong here. The one time I try to do like a bit of a like strategy video, I guess, it just like completely blows up in my face. Um, okay, so let's get some smokes out. We're going to miss the smoke. Two times we're going to miss the smoke. Oh my god, the easiest war factory made difficult by the chicken, guys. Holy jeez, I'm just hoping to finish it at this point. That was just absolutely disgusting. Okay, so we'll get the shocks out like this. We'll get a med kit on and, like, hopefully we can take it down. Like, holy jeez, man. Holy jeez. The hot pots, they're, they're, they're just stressful to walk through because it's like, you do anything stupid like the chicken and it's like, oh, raid's done. It, it doesn't help when there's, like, 10 million of them all in, in one square either. That uh, makes it a little more interesting than... Uh, than it probably needed to be. So let's go ahead, let's show you guys some operation stuff. Maybe we'll do a live hit here if um, if we can double dip. Oh, perfect timing, chicken, perfect timing. Um, okay, so we got, we, we've been taking down choke point. vac has been doing really, really well. Um, and I think I'm gonna go in on, actually no, this is a heavy Zooka. This is probably better suited for John. He's kind of the heavy Zooka guy. So we don't wanna attack ribbon cables. So let's see what we have to get on Alamo. This could be, Strap in, guys. This could be a nasty one. How much of the shield is that? Five million. But it looks like all we have to do is get up to those sniper towers and just clear, right? Um, now, I am going to need to fully boost the damage, but I don't think I'll, I'll need to boost any GBE. Let's just take another quick little hashtag check and peek at this one, guys. Um, okay, so, <clears throat> so there's uh, some flamethrowers down there. Uh, mortar's not going to be in range. Rocket launcher's not going to be in range. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. It'd probably be better to go up and take those shields down first at the top, but if I can get all my Zookas right here with boosted up damage, I think we'll be fine. Um, this boom cannon is going to be in, in range, which we don't want, but maybe we can actually clear that. So, I'm thinking we just straight up boost the damage. I think that's all we're going to need, guys. So, we'll do a little... Oh my god, something's escaping out of my body. Okay, we'll do a little hashtag chicken mini boost here. Spend a few more diamonds. And let's just get right into it here, guys. Let's get right into it. We're going to bring Brick along because we're definitely going to need the battle orders. Clear all sniper rockets range. Re Alright, so we got the, the, the hashtag beast mode note. Let's go here, guys. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Um, Alright, so first order of business is going to be to take out this mine. Probably unnecessary, but it's just in case I miss another one. Um, I'd prefer to not have to deal with that if we could. So there's nothing on the beach. We can probably take out this power cell before we get in range of the sniper towers. So we'll go like this. We'll get a couple smokes down because there is a lot of sniper towers that we need to worry about. Uh, that we don't want to have to deal with, guys. Okay, so we'll go up like this right here. Should be a nice, easy, casual, nice uh, Alamo stroll in the park here. Nothing too crazy is going on. We're not going to hit any mines, chicken. Where's Brick going? Why is she going that far? Um, okay, and then we'll just one smoke like this. Okay, we saved Brick somehow. Okay, perfect, perfect. I think we're in a good uh, a good position to clear here, guys. So, basically what I want to do is just throw out some critters, because we only have single shot things to worry about. That's it. Just single shot stuff. So we'll get that going, we'll get some more, we got the critters working with the battle orders guys, and once we get out this uh, this sniper tower here, I think we should be okay to uh, flare up like this, right next to the core, and then uh, we'll get another battle orders going and we're just going to flare right onto it from here. Now those Zugas could have taken out the, uh, the flamethrowers for a little bit extra GBE, so I'm thinking guys, since this shield has like such an absurd amount of health, it might have been better to take out the shield gens on the way, but since we have so much time to blast it down, I think it's actually going to work. Let's get another battle orders going like this, guys, and we're just ripping through this 5 million health shield. Now, I don't think this we actually would have had a chance if I didn't boost up the damage. How crazy is that? Because I have all the Zookas, more or less all the Zookas on, onto the core, 
and they're, they're still not, like, blasting it down instantly. So maybe I didn't need to boost anything for there, but better safe than sorry, guys. Better safe than sorry. That's what the chicken says. Oh, man. All right, so let's, um, what should we do here? We're going to have a ton of GBE. Hmm. Uh, can we do anything exciting? Actually, we're only going to be able to, let's just use Barrage on the HQ, I guess. Um, because we're not going to do anything too, too crazy. We only have, like, an extra 20 GBE, so... So yeah, that's gonna uh, that's gonna wrap it up for the video today, guys. Um, make sure to let me know down in the comments um, how you guys took on War Factory today. Did did any of you slip up and run into the hot pots like the chicken did? Uh, definitely interested to hear that. And uh, yeah, that's gonna that's going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you find it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out. Oh.